Like, I I played. What the hell were they called? Um. Oh, it was another horse game. I mentioned it whenever we got this game. But but we played it growing up, and it was all about like breeding horses and and racing them and stuff like that. And it, I actually remember it being a lot of fun. So like, there's a part of me that wants to believe this is going to be a, a fun game again, or or as well rather. Breeders' Cup World Thoroughbred Championship. That is a long name for a game. But like, I I just don't know. <laughs> like, there's so many terrible sports games, and this one seeming like it's a, a licensed sports game worries me more. And then it just being some random random horse game that I played growing up. Oh no, we're playing this? I mean, look, it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing, Rue. It could end up being good. It's tagged as a sports game simulation driving racing game on Twitch. I mean, <laughs> I like racing games sometimes. And it's published by Bethesda. I like Bethesda and ZeniMax Studios. Like, they, they make some pretty decent stuff. You know, Elder Scrolls, Fallout, Doom... <laughs> Uh, or no. Do they publish Doom? I don't remember if they publish Doom or someone else publishes Doom these days. Who publishes Doom? Who published Doom 2016? Bethesda. Yeah, okay. I thought it was Bethesda. Do they also publish Wolfenstein? Wolfenstein. Welcome what is to the Breeders' Cup World Wolfen Thoroughbred Championship. Stein. Also Bethesda, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, like, they do some good stuff. There's also this one that my brother loves, a uh, game that they published. I can't remember the name of it. I never played it, but it always looked really good. I guess it doesn't really help if I can't remember the name of it, though. Uh, it's like a, a stealth game, and your, your character gets powers and stuff published by bethesda <laughs> i can't remember it i'd have to like look through my list of twitch games or twitch games steam games or something to figure out uh what it's called okay there's just a quick race mode i guess we should probably go into that one it actually has a career mode which i appreciate dishonored thanks nate good call man yeah no dishonored that's the series uh looks really good never played it another another series though published by bethesda uh, yeah, no, I do like career modes in, in sports games as far as my joy of sports games goes, which isn't very far. But, like, I appreciate having goals to work towards. Presumably, the career mode, you could also, you know, get better horses or, or level up your jockey or something like that. Uh, we'll just hop into a quick race, though, to get a feel for what the game is real quick. Track. Um, Clearwater. Sure. Runners. Looks like six of the lowest, so we'll go with that. Number of players, one. I'm the only person here right now, so that's going to have to be it. Oh, God. Uh, I wonder, is it going to be like like a normal racing game? Do we just hold X to to Zoom? <laughs> how, does, how does it work? I don't know. As long as we stop dog racing, I think we're okay on sports like this. Is there like... Is there a lot of ill practices and dog racing or something like that? Honestly, I don't know anything about it. We had, uh, we didn't own any horses, but but my stepdad, when I was younger, helped train the horses, like take care of some horses. So like we did, we went to the races a fair bit for, for the horses. Um, and I think they may have done dog racing there as well. But I, I've never seen any of the races or anything about that. Don't really know anything about it either, other than the fact that it's a thing. Dog racing equals bad. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. Is there, like... So it's just bad for the dogs, like, physically or something like that, especially on Greyhounds and Whippets? They end up getting treated so poorly, and when they can't run anymore, they basically discard them. I mean, sadly, that's how it is for, like, horses, too, right? A horse breaks its leg, and... Most of the time, that just like that's that's it for the horse. Like you take it out back and uh, Looks like we're ready to go. no more horse, man. So how do we? Billy's machine shoots right to the front. How do how do we go faster? Dave Siren behind that Irish nickel. Blessed night. I see I see a stamina gauge up there. 
the square. Oh. Foolish punch has taken the lead. Did, like triangle do Foolish something? Circle do something? Do we front. just hold X the whole time? And then steer? Oh, okay. If we push point, forward, it seems like it's telling them to punch. overtake. Followed by Oh, okay. I see. And as they come around oh. the far turn, oh, 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 oh. okay, okay. Followed by foolish punch and Irish So we nickel. use the, the, the left stick foolish to not only steer, but also to pick stretch. like what kind of what kind of uh, speed, whether we like hold back, try to keep up with the pack, or or push forward. I gotcha. What did Noodle say? I missed it and then the race started. Is it sad I cut the felt for my craft and I don't want to do anything else? That's all the more you could handle for the night, just cutting? I mean, hey, you got some work done on it at least, right? You can always just finish it tomorrow. A lot of them get given up. Greyhounds just have bad lives in general. Aren't they kept and bred for their blood too? Wait, what? Why? For their blood? Are they like... Are they, they universal donors for dogs or something like that? Why why would they be bred for their for their blood? When I say mean poorly, like small ash cages and shitty food and horribly unclean cages and the like. Yeah, see, that's shitty, dude. They have like a universal blood for dogs. Okay, that's kind of what I, that's kind of what I thought would be the case. Um, select your horse for the race. Okay. We'll race this one. Speed, power, temp, temp, temperature, temperament. <laughs> DRF speed rating 50. Majestic siren. Let's go, dude. Universal dog donors. <laughs> I mean, look. Okay, so I think. Shoots right to the front, followed by Stormy Glory. I think like trying to stay roughly middle of the pack is probably a good call. Can we make our way on the inside corner at all? I don't really want to like run out of stamina here. But I do Army also want to get to the inside. Majestic Siren. Majestic Siren has okay, taken keep, the lead. Keep, keep your cool. After and then half, it's still go for it. Nitro, just in behind them. I Army think Glory. we probably went behind too early. Ah, oh, damn it, I missed again. Divine Hope is wilting now. Army Glory come on, come on, come on. To tire. To the wire. Wait, was there another one that we could do there? Oh, dude. We had plenty of stamina left. What are we doing? <laughs> uh, Okay, race again, I guess. Is that all? There? We're going to have to try out the... The... Career mode or something like that. Because if this is all there is to the to the quick race, then yeah. <laughs> like, it just throws down six random horses. You pick one, you race it, and then it's on to the next one. <laughs> Which is leading me to believe it's probably a solid 4 point whatever out of 10. Like, if you're into to horses a lot in horse racing, you'll probably enjoy the game. Otherwise, man... You might as well just go ahead and sit this one out. I think that's what I'm assuming that that review boiled down to. Run style stalker closer. Too bad there's not like a a stamina rating. Okay, I kind of like Apache boy. You have really good temperament. Is this temperament double as stamina? I think we're going to do Apache Boy. He looks like the best one. And, I mean, why not pick the best horse? They're in the gates. I didn't see what his style was. Fast magic. Rockets out of why is the camera... The oh, God. The camera Burning kept the setting and from and last time. That was weird. Can we just look at these horses? I mean, that's true in real life, too. The horses do always end up having weird-ass names, man. One and a quarter miles left, I'm assuming that is. Keep on the inside. Oh, something's happening with Bill. Oh, God, they're speeding up already? Burning daughter passes Apache boy. Okay, well, let's go then. Has gone to the front. 
Apache boy has led through the opening half mile. Can we not like do the do the the, the whipping thing? Hit him with the tassels? <laughs> I mean, we seem to have a, a crap ton Apache of stamina boy. left, assuming Starting that's what that bar tight. is at the top. Oh man, we've Half we've got everyone else in the dust. Apache boy, followed by Bass Magic and Burning How many Daughter. how many more laps do we have of this? Coming into the back stretch. Apache boy leads the way. Just in behind them. Bass Magic behind that. Burning Daughter. The sound clips are hilariously disjointed. Yeah, it's not turn, it's fantastic. Apache boy, just in behind them. Bass Magic behind that. Burning Daughter. And as they hit the top I especially the stretch, love how the the Incoming. like names of the the horses when they say them are kind of overlapping each other. And as we near the finish, Apache boy is the I'm leader. slowing down so much, dude. I definitely uh, overdid it a little bit. I'm assuming temperament Apache does boy. double as stamina. Did we still win? Oh, we still won by a mile, dude. Okay. We're either doing a really good job at picking these horses, or this game is incredibly easy. Why did we just run through the fence? <laughs> so you want to look at the names? There we go. Apache Boy, Fast Magic, Burning Daughter, Jade Speed, Wondrous Blaze, and Generous Arrow. I'm pretty sure half the people naming these things were, were high, man. Burning Daughter, that's a name for weed if I've ever heard one. Wondrous Blaze, same. Jade Speed, that's got to be some kind of drug. Why did we run through the... Fa I know that's exactly what I was saying, man. Just ran straight through it. I had no control over the horse. The horse was just like, you know what? I'm clipping through reality right now. <laughs> it was in the way. That's all you need. Okay, what's a day at the races like at least? Uh, Let's do... I, dry Lake. I don't think we did Dry Lake. I guess we're creating a profile. Uh, how do we capital? Oh, square. What? That is weird, man. Oh. Okay, I thought square would, like, toggle between uppercase and lowercase. No, it doesn't. Strange. Okay, so square to put in T R E. Honestly, like, it's a decent system. I've just never, never seen it or used that before. But it makes more sense than, like, toggling a shift key for as far as a, a console game keyboard input. The only thing that upsets me is that it's alphabetical order and not QWERTY layout. <laughs> I'm assuming diary is save? Or no, that's our... Okay. Straight and exotic. Are we buying strippers? What is... <laughs> okay. I have a thousand bucks, apparently. Wait a second. Are we just betting on horses, not racing horses? I think we are. This is just like a, a simulation of going down to the tracks. Well, you do know why QWERTY layout... Right? Like, you know why it exists? Because whenever there were typewriters, um, you needed more power for the for the keys that you hit more often. And that's why they laid it out in the way that they did. If I remember correctly. Um, there was some BS about, like, the keys you used most often being in specific spaces or something like that. That, that I've heard before, too. But I'm pretty sure I, I watched a video on it that explained that... That's only somewhat true. It had more to do with having the power to press the keys hard on a on a typewriter so that you could get solid contact to make uh, nice bold letters on the paper whenever typewriters were a thing and you had to, you know, jam the freaking keys down. <laughs> but it's not actually the most efficient layout uh, as far as like the keys you actually use and, and having the least strain on the, the wrist for modern keyboards where it takes very little force, but like... You were told that people were so fast at typing with that layout on a typewriter that they were jamming the thing up. I wouldn't be surprised, man. He watched a lot of informative videos and does a lot of rant. This is true, but I also have a very shit memory. So <laughs> I know I've watched stuff on keyboard layouts before, but I don't remember for sure if that was the reason or not. I, I think it was something along those lines, though. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to pretend that that I know for certain 
You have a lot of useless knowledge? Yeah. That's, uh, I'm the same sort of way, especially more so when I was younger and had more time to just watch YouTube videos all the time. These days, um, I'm far too busy to really do it. So it doesn't have a win-loss ratio for life races. Does it have a win-loss ratio for the horses or just the the jockey? I wonder if these owners and, and sires and things are real or if they're just random names. I mean, it is an officially licensed thing, so I wouldn't be surprised. We got John Smith's Horse Brass Laser, Frisky Delight from Thomas Nash, Dixie Prayer from Jim Quarton, Happy Queen from Jimmy Farrell, Sire is Andy's Laser? Wait, didn't we see an Andy's Laser somewhere? Or no, it was Brass Laser, okay. Moonchild and Fast Delight, I mean... I don't know, man. I kind of feel like we need to go Moonchild just because of the name. <laughs> I'm sure there's there's something with, like, all these these sires and dams and breeders. Like, these names probably mean something to people that are big into horse racing. But I know nothing about it. So, um, race one? We're going to bet... 100 next to pick three select the winner of three consecutive races so that can be straight or wheeled uh win place and show finish in the first three essentially three bets in one um okay so Moonchild, Frisky Delight, and Happy Queen. <laughs> because why not, man? Oh god, I'm wagering nine hundred. <laughs> I didn't I didn't realize it was so much. I thought we were doing like a hundred. Alright, race. Let's see if we lose all of our money immediately. I've already forgotten what number there, our bets were on. <laughs> Justin behind Frisky was... behind that. Dixie Prayer. I was more interested in the names than the numbers. Dixie uh... Prayer by Moonchild. Hey, let's go, Moonchild! After a half. It's still fast delight. Justin behind them. Greatest prayer behind that. Happy Queen. The Happy Queen's in third. And as they come around the far Here turn, we go. Things are changing. Delight, followed by Greatest Prayer and Brass Laser. Oh man, fast number three is way out ahead though. I don't think we won anything. <laughs> you vote Frisky Delight? I mean, that was the second place one. Moonchild took fourth. Trash. Uh, we did win $255 on a $900 bet. <laughs> At least we're not completely broke. We can we can try again. Let's see. Do we have who do we who do we have? We have Maggie's Bolt, which is number one. Generous Shot as number two. Conquering Arrow in three. Astral Stallion. That's an old horse, though, isn't it? Oh, no, I guess all these ones are, like, five years old. I thought the, the last ones were, like, two. Eager Nitro and Hopeful Hurricane. I'm feeling that Astral Stallion, dude. We're going to bet on Astral Stallion. Race two. Uh, I'm going to bet 100 just to win. What's EX? Correct or the first two horses to finish. No. <laughs> Select the horse you think will finish either first, second, or third. Yes. We're going for Astral Stallion, number four. Next. Confirm. Race. So we're rooting on number four, dude. They just got to get first, second, or third. I'm assuming we'll get less money. Maggie's Bolt. 
for it since since you know it's like a we basically got a 50 50. where where's number four at okay fourth place need you to pull forward a little bit there my guy sorry we still got still got a long way to go I'm believing more and more by the moment that this game was four and a half out of ten, Chocobo. <laughs> Not out of five. Astral Child, whatever your name was. Come on, dude. Okay, you're at like the, the halfway mark. Let's go, let's go, let's go. At the halfway point. It's still eager nitro. I wish I could see Follow their their by. temperament Hopeful or whatever stamina. Just like start driving that horse, man. Let's go. Eager nitro followed by hopeful hurricane and Maggie's bolt. Okay, you're rounding the corner. Now's the, the, the time to pick it up. Turn, it's eager nitro just in behind them. Hopeful hurricane. Ah, dude, we're losing behind places. Maggie's you're supposed bolt. to be gaining. And as they hit the top of the stretch, there you go. There you go. I command. see him trying to push. That, we have he made it hurricane. back into fourth place. Come on, you just got to get third, man. At least third. Eager Nitro, still within striking ah, dude, them. no, we lost. <laughs> nope. GG to us, I guess. First, second, third, fourth, yeah. Fourth place. Didn't even get to... We had a 50-50 shot on that one. Ah, oh, we suck. We're going to do one more, and then I think we're done with <laughs> with just watching the races, man. We'll see what the career mode is real quick before we quit, just so we have a full picture of the, the game here. Clever Father. Blessed Racer. Angel Watcher. Andy's Comet. Furious Scout. Mystic Bolt. Uh, Blessed Racer, man. You say Andy's Comet? All right. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I was just thinking we are going to need a blessing to win. But we'll go with Andy's Comet. I'm fine with that. Race number three. Uh, How much money do we have left? 200. Can we, like, add money on? We can. We're going to bet it all, man. 255. Are we doing to win or top three? Which one we doing? It's like the horse you think will finish. Yeah. Or plate. I guess win, place, or show. Which one do we want to do, man? Do we think he's going to get first place for sure? First or second? Or first, second, or third? I mean, the safe bet is show, but it's not our money either. So do we just say screw it and throw it all on win? <laughs> like... It's virtual money. It doesn't matter. It's not real. Ah, screw it. We're just going to put it all in to win then. Andy's Comet, number four. Come on, man. Don't let me down again. They're all in line. They're off. Oh, my God. That was a terrible start. Racer. He was so he late out of the, the gate, man. By Furious Scout and uh, he's gaining mother. speed fast, though. Mystic Bolt off to a clumsy start. That could be good or bad. Might mean that the jockey's wearing him out too quick. Could also mean that he's just raring to go, having a good day. Just, you know, his reaction time's a little low, that's all. <laughs> where's the randomized drug testing that they do on the horses, man? Where's Where's that part of the game? How do I know that the first three people in the last race weren't cheating? Halfway home. And it's still I think I should get my money back. They were obviously doping their horses. Coming into the back stretch. Ah, dude, this is a complete repeat of last time. We lost the place. We got it back. And we lost the place again. Oh, God. I think Andy's Comet's letting us down, man. Ah, <laughs> oh, number one taking the lead, though. Clever Father has taken the lead. What a race. Clever Father won it. Yeah, we were fourth or fifth, man. That was... <laughs> Andy's Comet was not a good choice. Fourth place. Seems like the horses we pick always get fourth place. You have no cash left. 
Game over. Damn. Well, <laughs> seems pretty realistic, man. <laughs> That's how it usually worked whenever we uh, went to the to the races as well. All right, new career. What do we got? Put our name in. R E A M stream. Enter. So Gallop Racer, that's the name of the game that I used to play when I was younger. I knew it would come to me eventually. That one's a lot more fun than this game. <laughs> if you want to play a horse racing game on the PS2, look up the Gallop Racer games, man. I'm not going to sit here and say they're amazing or anything, but I had fun with them as a kid at least. This game, I feel like, was made for, for a serious niche. You know? Whereas Gallop Racer was made for people that just wanted to have fun. Uh, sure. Silks pattern? Oh. They all look like crap. I mean, that one's fine, I guess. Breeding cups, news, race day, and a race. Okay, we only have one horse with a lot of potential. Their name is Scottish Girl. I like it. News. Scottish Girl requires three more wins to qualify. Scottish Girl did not race last week. Okay, so basically there is no news is what you're telling me. Um, If we train now, does that screw over the, like, the race? Maintenance work when a gallop isn't desired. Also used for a horse coming back from injury. Primary maintenance work in between breezes and actual races. A timed full speed workout on the racetrack. Rest. Schooling improves a horse's maturity, temperament, and behavior around the racetrack. Let's do some gate work, man. Let's make sure we can. Let's make sure we can do some good. Get out of the gate nice and quick. <laughs> Silence in with the horse. <laughs> we can retire you already? No. What's the. How does breeding work? Hopeful Hurricane. Patty's father, Jade Punch. Jack's Devil. We're going to breed Jack's Devil and the, the Big Meteor, dude. Total 10 grand. Screw it. Let's go. Breed him up. Wait. We instantly got another horse. How are you three years old when we just bred you? <laughs> like, we literally just bred you and you're already three years old. <laughs> Oh, my bad. Look, <laughs> I didn't know that was a word band choice. I saw the chat on stream, not on OBS or, or Twitch. My bad. All right. And he failed. Y'all got to call it out. You got to make it obvious to me, man. It's okay. I won't say the H word again. <laughs> I still want to know how this animal is three years old when this one's two years old and we literally just bred this one. It does have higher potential, though. Let's set your training to gate work as well. I want to make sure y'all get out of the gate quick. And I guess, what are the cups? Oh, that's like what we've won. So let's just go to enter race. Clam through this. I don't know what these things mean. Uh, This one... For two-year-old female. For two-year-old female. For two-year-old female and male. Well, sadly, our one horse is three years old. So, <laughs> uh, let's just go to the one with the lowest purse, I guess, to start with. So, this one. Looks like this one only costs 600 Let's do that one, man, just to get into it. What's this game about? This game is about racing animals, whether they like it or not. Fail Wait, did I say it again? I don't remember saying it again. Are you sure? I don't think I did. I think you're making things up. Somebody, somebody play it back. Do the instant replay on that. Did I say the H word or are you just way behind on 
the stream again. Because <laughs> sometimes, man, it seems like you got a lot of lag. I swear you did. Mm, I don't know. I'm going to have to see it with my own two eyes. <laughs> You're probably right. I don't think I did. I don't remember doing it. But nope, not behind. I don't know. It took you like five minutes to send that message. Joking. It wasn't five minutes. Well, they all have the same mounting fee. If they all have the same mounting fee, then... I'm assuming they're all just as good or worse than the others. So I'm going to go with Donald Robertson, man. <laughs> Is rice okay for cats because she's trying to eat it? Uh, I mean, as far as I know, it's like it won't hurt them or anything. But, like, it's not necessarily good for them. You said animal and then messed up and said we just bred this animal. Are you sure? <laughs> Bill Tiddler. We're picking Bill Tiddler because it made me think of big titties. <laughs> and that's the only reason why. Let's go. Proceed to race day. Welcome to Emerald the Jewel Down. of the Pacific Northwest. The you stopped her, of course, Pacific but just in Northwest. case you miss any. Yeah, I mean, like, it won't hurt her or anything like that. It's just not... Like, because cats are meant to basically just Welcome eat protein. And that's it. Like we're ready to go, and they're underway. Oh, that was good. We got out quick. Kelly's can we the get one. the like? Takes can we recenter the, the camera? Maybe. Awesome. Scottish What's our Carol number? And we must be okay. We're number one. Firemaker. This is just a one lap one, back. right? Looks like it. In the early going, it's Miss Melissa. Astro Rocket. Okay, we're gonna American we're gonna keep racer. it a little bit slow Scottish for now. Irish we're gonna dancer. pick up the pace Kelly's a little bit. One. Storm and Too Fancy, much. Emerald Rage, Jelly Speed, Firemaker. Jelly Speed and Firemaker? How After are we supposed half, to compete with people like that, slow. man? Miss Melissa, just in behind them. Scottish and Girl. okay, behind that, go for it. Racer. I don't know how quickly our temperament or whatever is gonna wear out. Firemaker, currently trailing at the rear. And as the field is, is there home, like? It's Scottish Girl. Is there a, a specific timing that we should be trying to do for the for the whipping here, or like, do we just do it whenever it pops up? I honestly don't know. Hey, we won though, our first race. <laughs> the racing is way too easy. Is there like a difficulty slider or something? Your horse, Scottish Girl, was not claimed. What's that mean? Oh, shoot. I said it again. <laughs> that time I definitely said it. Welcome I was reading the, the words on the screen. The <laughs> here at ah, I'm sorry. My, the sun is shining brightly for this one. Claim for 20,000? The first race was a great start to the day. Wait, does that mean, like, is the we buy them? The 10 runners. What does claiming mean? No, just skip. We're not in this one, so what's the point? What's the name of our 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 younger Welcome to the animal? Third race of the day at Emerald Downs. Cajun Rock. The sun is mare. shining, and we're ready to go. Big Meteor Jack's Devil. Was it this I'm one? I'm sure this will be an interesting. Clever one. Mare. I think this is ours. So we're number four. Irish Dynamo. They're in the gates, and they're off. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Billy's Angel so much slower. Okay, now we're picking out of up there the pace. to get that early lead. Justin behind them. Angry runner behind that. Clever Angry mare. runner, man. Irish Dynamite off to a poor start. I really like. I have no no comment here. This <laughs> the game. So it like this is all there is to it. I mean, you can like breathe them and stuff, I guess, but. Like, I remember in Gallop Racer, I'm pretty sure you had, like, actual stats and things that you could see, which was interesting. Whereas, like, this the game, there's nothing. It's just the names of the, the individual ho or animals. The <laughs> Name of the individual animals, the jockeys, um, and then, like, and you can breed still. them together Billy's or whatever. Angel. Don't breed the horses? Why Why there. not breed Behind the horses, man? Runner. Shoot! Ah! <laughs> Don't say that word in chat. I can't. <laughs> it's so, <laughs> it's so hard to not say it whenever I read it. <laughs> ah, man. I'm screwing this up so bad. Okay. We just, like, 
the H word. We just like take over so quick whenever we go full tilt. This is a surprise. The favorite Irish Dynamo is dead last. I don't know why. Like, did they intentionally make the game super easy or something? Or like, I'm super confused. I, mean, I guess we're not like in a championship race or anything, so maybe it's Welcome meant to be to easy Fort until you get here at into Down. the harder ones. Lego Demon. I like that. Right Dublin Doctors. You just skip race like that. I don't. Again, if I'm not in the race, I don't care. Okay, is it taking us back to to home base? To the fifth no. Race of the day. Here Fifth race Emerson. of the day. Well, I don't have, I don't have, I don't have animals. <laughs> Is this a dog shit gallop racer? Basically, yeah. Published by Bethesda, believe it or not. But yeah, essentially. But like, there's a lot less customization, it seems like. That's what I was just talking about. Like, all you can really do is is breed them together. And you get stats for Welcome to the, the, of the day. jockeys. But I don't see anywhere to get stats on the animals besides, like, like for the ones you're breeding together and stuff. Your own one, Welcome you can see finalist. some basic stats on, like, potential. But, like, was this around the time they were still doing drag racing games as well? Uh, Stakes winner, Dixie Prayer. Race day, race winnings, 42,350? What? Wait a second, do we really just win 42 grand for that? Bro, I'm in the long run of work here. <laughs> um, maybe? I can't remember when this game came out. Let me look it up real quick. World Thoroughbred Championship. Breeder, or it's Breeders' Cup. Breeders' Cup. World Thoroughbred Championships video game came out in 2005 so yes <laughs> yeah 2002 2003 2004 and 2006 all of those years they they published IHRA drag racing games so yeah <laughs> wait this came out in 2005 yes believe it or not yeah man I, I, that's why I had to double check because it looks like a game that came out in maybe 2002 or something like that, you know, just based off of the, the menus and the graphics and game and stuff like that. But yeah, no, this is, this is a 2005 game. But yeah, see, so this is, this is what we got, right? We can see who sired and, and uh, like the mom and dad of the horse and we can see their win loss ratios and how much prize money they've won but like that's it <laughs> right we can go to stats again for our own horses but not for the parents of the horses so <laughs> and then i was hoping whenever we go down to train i was hoping like when we picked one of these we could actually do the training no all it does is set what training will get done for the animals like it's not great, man. <laughs> it's not it's not very good at all. <laughs> yeah, Noodle bought it for me. It was one of the uh the Christmas present games. What games have we gotten so far as Christmas presents from you, Noodle? We got this game, uh two Tom Clancy games. Wasn't there one other one or was that it? That might have been it, I don't remember. This horse is worth 10 grand. How much is our other horse worth? Honestly, you would play it? I mean, it's not, like, bad, right? Like, the, the, the racing works okay. It's just so simplistic compared to something like Gallop Racer. And at least so far, every race we d we've done, like, actually been in control of, has just been stupid easy. Smuggler's Run. That's the other one, yeah. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon. And Ghost Recon, Jungle Storm, and then uh, Smuggler's Run. Which, honestly, Smuggler's Run is a Rockstar game, so I am kind of hoping good things from that. Uh, 
I mean, I'm not sure if it'll be good, but I'm, I'm hopeful, at least. How do we leave this game mode? Can we not? Are we just stuck here forever? Oh, there it is. Quick game. We had that game? For real? I do not remember it, man. I do not. Like, I was literally looking at the box, reading the back of the box and stuff like that, and I, I did not remember it at all. I It sounded a little bit familiar, but other than that, nope. Was it any good, <laughs> to the best of your memory? Oh, and that's that's the entire game, by the way. You have quick race where you just pick one of six horses or whatever, and then that's the one you're racing. A day at the races, which is just you're betting on horses. It's just like you're going to a racetrack and <laughs> and just placing bets on them to see how much money you end the day with or lose it all, which seems more likely. Challenge a champion. I guess we didn't do that mode, but I'm assuming... You're just uh, racing a championship horse in this one. And then and then the career mode, which is what we just did. Which, unless it drastically changes later, you, you breed, you select training regimen, you take no part in that, and, uh, and you do super easy races <laughs> for a crap ton of money, man. We won, what was it, 43 grand between our two horses? Like, holy shit, dude. Yeah, okay, so this is just one-on-one. -on -one. Our horse, or a random horse, I guess, against a a championship horse. I mean, we might as well do it. That way, we can say we've done everything. We are doing the... Uh, we're not racing the champion, though, right? Like, we're we're the normal horse, I think. This horse really wants to zoom, dude. I have to keep pulling it back. Like, I don't mind being in first, but I don't want to. I don't want to go way out ahead and and waste all of our stamina. We're almost... Yeah, we still got to make a, another loop, basically. We have half our stamina left, give or take. Okay, the, the horse is starting to calm down now. You just remember the case and the fact that we had it. That's it. All right. <laughs> Not particularly helpful, but okay, man. So, like, is it... I guess maybe, maybe it has a uh, front runner personality or something like that maybe that's what it is so like it's it's constantly trying to stay in in front of the pack yes horses do have position preferences that's what i was just remembering myself <laughs> which i think is is what's going on with this one that it has a a front line position preference but like see how easy that was that was literally a normal horse Versus a championship horse. And we won that easy. First try. Like. I just. I don't. I don't get it man. Like. I feel like I have cheat codes activated or something. There's. There's no challenge. And if there's no challenge. Where's the fun at. In the game. Like there's nothing in the options here. To make the game harder or anything like that. We can turn on surround sound and widescreen mode. Like. Like. That's <laughs> Wait, did widescreen literally change nothing? Maybe I have OBS set to force 4x3 or something. Oh wait, no. Widescreen on the PS2 still is 4x3. It just squashes the image so your TV can stretch it out. So wait, is the widescreen mode broken? Maybe it doesn't change the menus for some reason? Hold on, we're going to hop into a quick race rear. What happens if we, we race different weather? Will that make the game harder or something? Maybe Noodle got a bootleg version of the game and it just locks you into super easy mode. Maybe, man. I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, we bought it from a reputable game store. I don't think so. But, like, I'm honestly uh, not convinced at this point. Change? Oh, we can just pick any horse? Okay, I didn't know we could do that. I guess that's kind of nice. 
There is a two-player mode. I mean, it has that. Immediately, Soul Hunter races into the lead. Okay. So I'm assuming the little the little display up there is showing the preferred position for this horse. Like how it has the 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 front position highlighted. Maybe that means they prefer front position. Although it's doing a good job of holding front position, so I don't know. Gypsy Blaze. <laughs> oh, are you guys gonna play together? I don't know. You wanna come you wanna come play this game there, OptiJack? We can we can raise some horses. Passes. Gypsy Blaze. That's the only way I feel like there'd be any actual challenge Halfway in the game. <laughs> like, Soul Hunter, followed by mean kid. Although we are losing Gypsy our stamina Blaze. pretty quick this this race, so I mean, I don't know. Coming into the back stretch, Soul Hunter leads the way. Just then behind them, Gypsy Blade. Okay, I feel like I feel like we're good to to zoom at this point. Just gotta just gotta conquer this mini game. I don't know like how you actually fill that bar up, by the way. Soul Hunter in command. Behind that, we have. Whenever you're whenever you're doing the the whipping there, like it always seems to 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 go up a little bit. I'm guessing that's how much we're adding to our stamina bar up top. But look at that. Look at that. Look how much we won by, man. <laughs> like... Dormor's racing is kinky. Uh, okay. <laughs> yes, that's... There we go. That's that's the entire game. There's no point in playing any more of it. We've done everything there is to do except for win an actual championship. But we've already beat championship horses with, with shit horses. So what's the point, you know? We're gonna we're gonna have to get a gallop racer game so we can show people what a decent horse racing game is about. I'm gonna look up like Chocobo earlier did mention looking up reviews because they were curious. So I'm gonna look up a review now and just make sure that it wasn't just that it's not just me. Like this game is just way too easy. Reviews. The Xbox version of the game holds a rating of 47% on Metacritic. Yeah, okay, so it was 4.3 out of 10. Uh, IGN, here we go. Let's read the good old IGN here. For a game with such a specific focus, you know what? Actually, hold on. Uh, is there any, like, bad advertising on this site or anything that I don't want to pop up? No, it looks fine. Okay. There you go. We're going we're gonna to do it together, man. Let me get the right window here. Transition. Here we go. Breeders Cup World Thoroughbred Championships. Subtitle. Don't bother with this one. <laughs> hey, thank you for feeding Bo, man. He was looking a little peckish. For a game with such a specific focus, Breeders Cup World Thoroughbred Championship falls short of delivering to horse racing fans what would constitute a satisfying experience. Nobody can really expect the graphics or sound to be much of an asset for a title like this, but at least there could be some decent gameplay modes. Essentially, this game will only appeal to those with an unprecedented degree of patience and who take great pleasure in putting massive gambles on a seemingly endless string of horse races. I mean, honestly, that sums it up pretty well. This game really does feel like it's more or less about just gambling, right? It's 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 poker, but with, with race horses, man. Like... Although poker, I feel like, requires more skill than this game does. <laughs> Wait, did they? Holy shit, it was. Updated in 2012. Wow. Why? Is there, like, a note in here somewhere? <laughs> like... Hold on. I want to see if it says anything about the game being, like, stupid easy. It's not to say Breeders' Cup is completely without gameplay modes. The game features quick race, a day at the races, blah, 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 blah. Quick race winds up being fairly useless since it's just a single race. Yeah. In Breeders' Cup, racing a horse isn't very exciting. You'll press A to jump out of the starting gate as quickly as possible. Be able to manipulate your horse's speed during the race and rotate your viewing angle. In addition, you can move your horse side to side and press A when an icon appears near the end of the race to whip your horse. Even with these options, though, controlling your horse is a boring experience. We found as long as we ran our horse somewhat intelligently, we won. Good. Yeah, see, so it's not just me. There's no challenge to the game. Because controlling your horse is so boring, the quick race option where you participate in a single race is pretty pointless. 
Aside from that, Day at the Race is a mode where you can gamble on a series of consecutive races at a selected track. While the range of gambling options is impressive, that's true, there are a lot of gambling options. Um, there's no point in playing this mode either since you can't use the money you win for anything but more gambling. Fair point, yeah. That should be like your actual money from the career mode or something like that, or your for your entire profile. Something along those lines. Can, however, compete against a friend in either of these modes, if that appeals to you. We can have head-to-head -head gambling battles. <laughs> the challenge of champion mode might appeal more to fans of the sport. In this mode, you can race some famous horses throughout history, like Smarty Jones and Silver Charm, on any of the game's tracks, like Belmont Park and Emerald Downs, among many others. These horse challenges are unlocked through the game's most worthwhile mode, the career mode. Well, as we just saw, though, the challenge of champion mode is shit as well. Also, your BRB, we're wrapping up anyways, man. <laughs> Career mode players can race, breed, and train horses, enter them in special comp events, and do a whole bunch of betting. And that's it. That's the whole freaking game. Betting on other horses is rendered useless in career modes. You can just bet on yourself to win. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Just bet on yourself, and you're always going to win the races. So, like, though you can pick different jockeys, enter your horse in different training programs to build stats, recover from injuries, and win special cups, this quickly becomes tiresome since your horses will be so good. Also, there's no way to quickly skip to your own race when there are eight other races going on. That's also... Yeah, no, the game's just trash. So that's that's all there is, man. It's just it's just not a good game. Honestly, I, I think a 4.3 is a little is a little too much. I usually... Like, I don't take scores very seriously, just to be clear. But, like, if I was rating this game, I'd probably give it, like, a 2. A 2 out of 5. 3 being average for me. This is a, a subpar game. <laughs> It works. That's the only reason I'm not giving it a one, because there's nothing here that seems broken. It's just, what's the point, you know? Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't be sorry, Noodle. I mean, hey, if you hadn't bought it for me for Christmas, I was going to buy it for myself eventually, right? That's the point. I'm going to be buying every PlayStation game sooner or later. So I'm not upset with you. It's just not very good either. But anyways, guys, those were uh, two very good games that we played tonight. I hope I hope you all had fun with them. I know I sure did. Uh, anyways, today is Thursday, so we'll be back tomorrow night with some... I believe tomorrow is RimWorld night, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we'll be playing, continuing our Neo Ruse run with the new expansion that came out a little bit ago. A few weeks ago at this point, whenever it was. Uh, that should be a lot of fun. We're hoping to build up our base and actually get to the end game, but there's not going to be a whole lot of fighting in that one. So it really is much more of a, like, a chill, laid-back kind of series. For those of you that can be there, though, I hope to see you. It should be a fun time. Either way, though, have a good night, guys. Sleepy time, says Rue. Yes, yes, yes. Go to sleep. Have fun, guys. I'll talk to you later. As always, be kind to each other, and bye-bye, y'all. That's...